or it may be that you have a criminal record. And so most often those are cleared within the next day or so. Either they're denied or they're... So what we're talking about is extending a couple of days in order for law enforcement to get it right. Now you would have thought that I was uh, some Satan by proposing that we ought to give our law enforcement community time to, to well, I'm aware aware of the Second Amendment. You read it. Uh, we can have that constitutional thing. I didn't get many A's in law school, but constitutional law is one I got an A. So I'm prepared to have that debate on the Senate floor about the Constitution and what the Second Amendment meant and the precedent after, because just because the Constitution says something, the Constitution is interpreted by nine justices. And so over time, our perception of the literal meaning of the words has changed based on the interpretation of the Supreme Court. Seminal case on gun rights is uh, uh, Heller versus McDonald. And even Justice Scalia, a conservative of justice, recognized that the state had the ability to pass reasonable regulation for gun safety. So um, what I saw was I didn't get a hearing. Remember I talked about the committee process? I filed the background check bill. I was not granted the courtesy of a hearing. Every senator gets a hearing on a bill. And I was blocked by a senator from Pickens, Larry Martin, who got defeated, by the way. Larry Martin, uh, and he, I, I have a great deal of respect for Larry Martin, not in that case, um, because I should have been granted the court, even if they didn't want to vote for the bill. No senator is denied a hearing, but that's how powerful these special interests, the NRA, is very powerful in South Carolina. And people don't challenge the NRA. There's a Facebook page right now created to fire me. I don't pay it any attention. This sled is monitoring it for my personal sake. Um, but there's hate speech on it because I proposed a background check bill. Um, so what I decided to do is, since they wouldn't give me a hearing, I blocked every bill that expanded gun rights this session, except for one, the Georgia Reciprocity Bill. That really is a bad bill. But I, I had to reach an agreement across the aisle to get a hearing background check bill and we've had five and now we're going forward to file a bill so we don't have to go through committee when we start in January. So I had to compromise. But we had a bill to expand gun rights which would have allowed you to file a personal bankruptcy. They take your car, they take your house, they take your boats, they take your personal effects, but the bill accepted your gun. So you lose everything else, but you can keep your guns. That passed uh, by a lot of votes, more than a majority in the House, in, in, in the South Carolina State House. I killed it at committee. Um, there was another bill to nullify President Obama's uh, executive orders for gun safety. He issued about 10 of them in aftermath of following Sandy Hook and a number of other shootings. And we wanted to pass a state law which essentially said we don't have to follow what the president said. I killed that bill in, in committee. Didn't get out of committee. So I'm outside praying with the victims of the McMother Emanuel 9. There was a prayer visual at the state house. The Republicans concoct the plan. Kimson's outside. Let's put the gun reciprocity bill on special order. You know, essentially what that means, they didn't want to bring it to committee because they knew I'd kill it. It's a way to usurp the committee process, the same process we use for the, for the flag. I come back in, I find out this is going, I take to the police, and I warn them that they, they, they wanted to debate this bill I was going to filibuster. So, Democrats included, they passed the special order provision, the fast track. Now, mind you, you're not really supposed to use special order, but 
issues of paramount importance to the state, like education, like roads. This year, they put abortion to take away women's right to choose. Uh, not, not, not totally, but to reduce the time that women have to make a decision from 24 weeks to 19 weeks. Even in the case of rape, incest, or fetal, fetal anomaly. So many times women go to the hospital, and I'm not, y'all know more about this than me, find out that there's maybe something wrong with the baby. They don't have that option anymore. If it's past 19 weeks, you, you cannot have an abortion. Now, that's between you and your God. I don't think that's a governmental issue. Um, and I'm not encouraging abortion. But we put that on special order. So we spent six weeks probably debating abortion instead of education and fixing our roads. Then we spend three weeks talking about people from Georgia being able to carry firearms in South Carolina. And the reason why we spent that much time, because I wasn't going to let that bill go because of the way they did it. And so I filibustered the bill. I could have killed the bill because I could have run out the clock. But I reached an agreement to have hearings, which I was denying hearings on my government. I reached an agreement to have hearings. And I'm gonna have to wrap this up because I gotta deliver a, uh, I gotta talk of that, the wake of Tony the Peanut Man. Oh, tonight. Is, he proposed to my mother. It's on video. Oh, yeah. It's probably one of the greatest videos I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Two years ago on the 4th of July. Boy, she turned red. I tried yeah, to talk red. <laughs> he said we would have peanuts for the rest of our lives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, head. those things are trademarked. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so, uh, so we filibustered that bill. My my videos are on. If y'all ever want to look at my Senate videos, uh, Senator Marlin Kempson on Facebook. I post all my stuff that I talk about on the floor of the Senate. You should like my page. <laughs> I mean, really, that's how you you engage. Representatives are doing. Uh, so we they voted for that. But keep in mind, here's what we did. We got a CWP requirement, concealed weapons permit requirement, that you got to take a test, not just written tests, but also a firing test in order to carry a concealed weapon. And we do a thorough background check. We do you can't get can't carry the handgun till 21. Georgia basically doesn't have any requirement. So we're going to allow people from Georgia to carry loaded weapons in South Carolina where our own people have to go through more, you know, to, 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 to go through. It just didn't make any sense. What are we doing? I mean, you know, I, I just don't understand. So in closing, it was really a good, I enjoyed this uh, talk. Um, I think you guys have y'all got a bright future. Uh, but we need you, whatever it is you're passionate about. Uh, and I don't know what that is, but you're taking this class for some reason. Go out and do, go out and make a difference. Don't just relegate yourselves to the sideline and be an order taker. Go out and shake some things up. We're counting on you. If we don't, if we're not able to count on you, we're not going to the future for my little daughter and I should say that I also have a little boy on the way uh, that had uh, my wife's pregnant and so we're expecting a boy but this fight is really about them because I'm scared if we continue this polarization particularly by race and the hatred that we exhibit to one another this society is going to make it. Yes, there will be some that live in gated mansions. But, in my opinion, until we make the system fair for the people that actually do the work, we're not talking about handouts. We're talking about people who work 40 hours a week but still on government subsistence because the wages aren't high enough. But yet, the court, the 
people in charge of the company who were sitting behind a desk and drinking coffee. Now, yes, they went to get their law degree and went to do this. But many of them are there. And I'm not saying all of them, but many of them are there. Uh, because they knew somebody. And because they called in a political favor. we got to give people in the com confidence in the system so that people can get a good education, can have health care, and can make it up the corporate ladder by work ethic. And I just don't see that in this country right now. So you guys will make the difference. All right? All right. It's good being with you. And uh, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. All right. Congratulations. It's a Morehouse class of 2039. Yeah. 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 You, you've already.